What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupCentrals.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a free extension that allows you to quickly randomize objects or place random objects on surfaces inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Random Entity Generator is a free extension that you can download on the Sketchication extension store. I will link to it in the notes down below. But basically what it's designed to do is it's designed to help you quickly scatter or place objects randomly inside of SketchUp. So in, sp in particular, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to scatter objects on a surface using this add-on. I will link to a more in-depth video on this if you want more of a comprehensive um, video about what this extension can do. But in this case, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we've installed Random Entity Generator. You can get that through the Sketchication extension store. But what we want to do is we want to use Random Entity Generator in order to generate objects on this surface. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to tell Random Entity Generator what surface we want to scatter things on. And so if you right click on an object, notice how there's an option here for set as random zone. A random zone is basically going to be the area that this tool looks at um, as the actual randomization location. So where it's going to put the things inside of your model. But um, if you do this right now, you right click and you click on random zone, it's going to tell you to select actual faces. So in this case, we're just going to double click in this group and we're just going to select all of these faces. Now, one thing to be aware of, and we're going to go ahead and right click on this, click on the option for set as random zone. And then this is going to give us the ability to set the altitude. So how high above the ground you want this to be. Um, I'm going to set maximum altitude to zero and not really worry about this. We're also going to set the distribution algorithm. Note that you can set either random which is going to be slow. That's going to pick like random locations on your object in general or face center, which is just going to find the center of faces inside of your model. That's going to be a lot faster. We're going to pick the random, but if you have a lot of faces in here, you might want to pick the face center fast, but we're going to click on okay. This is actually going to take a little while to do. So the larger your number of surfaces you're going to have in here, the longer this is going to take. So at the moment though, this surface has been added to the list. Well, what that means is that means that now I can actually select an object like this, right click on it and click on the option for randomize. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to set the number of objects that we're going to randomize. And you can set a bunch of other things, which we'll talk about in a second. We're going to click on OK. So that's going to randomly place objects on your surface inside of SketchUp. And so notice how it's just randomly placing these along the surface right here. And so there's a few things about this that I want to change. First off, I don't want to spread a whole bunch of my me and Bonnie model. Um, I actually want to spread something else, like something that makes sense, like trees or something like that. Second, I want to get a little more specific with um, how exactly I'm distributing things inside of this model. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download a component. So we're just going to pick one of the landscape components that's in here. So in this case, for example, um, I clicked on the first folder. I actually want to go back. I'm just going to go into the low poly plants folder. Um, that ought to be good for what we're trying to do here. So, and we can go ahead and select some 3d trees. So I'm just going to add this evergreen. We'll go with the evergreen magnolia tree for right now. So we're just going to place that inside of our model somewhere. So now what I can do is I can right click on that tree and do a randomize. And this is going to place this a um, hundred times. That's the number of entities I've selected on my surface like this. So you can see how this can be a really quick way to add a bunch of objects inside of your model. Now you do need to be a little bit careful though because this can add a whole bunch of geometry really quickly. So you just need to be aware of what you're creating. Like notice how now, for example, my SketchUp is taking a minute to load all of this stuff in um, just because there's so much being generated. So that is one thing to be aware of. Another thing to be aware of is when you do this, let's take a look at our settings. So right now, for example, we've got this on a preset of custom. Well, what I want to do is I want to drop this into a preset of trees. And so when I do a preset of trees, that's going to give me a maximum rotation, which means these are going to have a random rotation applied to them. I'm going to bring this down to maybe like 25 or something like that. But you can set a minimum and maximum rotation as well as minimum and maximum size. So for example, if I was to set this to 0.75 and 1.25, so I'm going to set this to 0.75 and 1.25 meaning this is randomly going to scale the objects that are selected in here. So in addition, 
Um, we can also, we're not going to worry too much about this one for right now, but we can also set if these are going to follow the face normals. So a normal is basically the calculation of the direction that a face is uh, facing. So what that means is that means that for like a flat surface, this would be a straight up and down, but for an object like this one, um, your normal is more going to be kind of like diagonal, like this, right? So if you set the option to follow face normals, then your trees aren't going to grow straight up and down. They're going to get placed at like kind of odd angles. So in this case, we don't want to follow face normals. Um, we're not going to avoid entity collision for right now because that can take longer, but that's going to check and make sure that the entities don't collide with each other. So you can also set, if you put these on either a layer, this has an updated to tags, but it's basically the same thing, or if you want these to go in a group. And actually, I'm not 100% sure if the put entities in group is working right now, but we'll go ahead and try it. But now we've got this set up with some better settings. So now I can click on the OK button. When I click on the OK button, what that's going to do is that's going to add a number of different trees inside of my model. And so notice how what this did is this placed these below the ground. So all of these got placed below the ground, right, a little bit. So the reason for that is because we left the value of push entities to down 50 centimeters on 50. We're going to set the push entities to down to zero. And then we're just going to run this whole thing again. So we're going to click on OK. And now notice how my trees aren't really running through the ground as much as they were. So I think this is placing these based on the actual object uh, origins right here. So notice how in this situation, for example, these are actually getting placed a little bit below the ground. So it's placing the origin a little below the ground, which I'm not really sure why it's doing that. Um, so that is a little bit frustrating, but there's not a lot of it. Most of them are going to do exactly what we need them to do. So I'm not going to worry too much about it for right now. But you could use this in order to quickly add plants or trees or other things like that in your SketchUp models. All right, so this extension can do a lot of other stuff too. I'm going to link to a video on this page that talks you through more in depth, like all of the functions contained inside of the extension. So you can watch that if you want to learn more. This is a great free option for randomizing objects inside of SketchUp. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Big thank you to my supporters on Patreon for voting voting on this extension. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.